Hey, how you doing? This video is gonna be very direct. I like to say real talk. We're gonna get real. So I just want you all to take it in. It's really a word that just came to me and I really felt led to go live. Hey Chrissy, how you doing? Just to go live and to just have this conversation to be open, to be transparent. So it's kind of spontaneous <laughs> during this time of the day. Hey Dane, uh, Danita, Chantel, all of I love all of you. Hey Regina, hey everyone, hey everyone. So um just want to um connect with you. Um, and have real talk. And the question today that we're basically going to analyze and really open up is what's holding you back? So I just want you to really take that in and think about it. What's holding you back? See, one of the things that came to my mind when, you know, this message and this word and it really, you know, it's from within. One of the things that came to my mind is we often think that there's something missing, something we need to get, somebody we need to know or connect with, some relationship we need to have. We often think that we're missing something and that we are you know, looking for um, something outside of ourselves. And so um, when, when we think of what's holding us back, we think of sometimes what we believe we lack, right? But one of the things that came in my spirit, you know, as, as, as I heard that, that word, what's holding you back was, it's not so much of what you need or what you you think you need or what you this outside of you that you don't have, but really what you need to let go of. See, one of the things that's really holding you back is what you really need to let go of. And I just want to challenge you just in this video to really go in and consider what is it that you need to let go of? So whether it's a relationship, whether it's a mindset that you that has been limiting you, fix this light. Whether it's a mindset, whether it's limitations are you limiting yourself are you doubting yourself do you need to let go of that doubt do you need to let go of insecurity because one of the things when it comes to growing achieving levels of your life accomplishing things and really seeing yourself um transform it's more about letting go than it is about gaining anything. It really is more about letting go. It's more about, and, and thanks for sharing that, um, it's more about letting go of fear, letting go of anxiety, letting go of the worries, letting go of the insecurity, letting go of the fear of failure, the fear fear of judgment. Um, maybe you think, you know, people are going to judge you. So you don't move forward in what it is you really want to do because of the fear of being judged. So what is it that you need to let go of? What's holding you back? Is it the lies that 
oh, I'll never find real love or happiness or I'll never lose the weight or I'll never be able to accomplish that amazing goal that I, you know, dream of in my life and my business. And, 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 you know, sometimes the really, like I said, those thoughts that we have that hold us back, but those thoughts are heavy, they're weight, heavy weight that will stop you from moving forward because it's like you're carrying all of these things and yet you're trying to grow and and pursue your goals and connect with new people but all of this baggage from the past right so what's holding you back i want to hear i want to hear from y'all tonight i just want you to just be transparent and just um share i know f with me I'll, I'll start off with me since y'all you know I'll, I'll go ahead and go first <laughs> i'll go first um wow okay nita <laughs> um for years fear held me back fear fear and and it was a crippling fear it was a it was the type of fear that would just paralyze you from moving forward you know it was the fear of success yeah it was the fear of failure and success you know the fear of oh what if i what if i succeed and it's too much and it's overwhelming and i can't handle it and then it was the fear of, well, what if I fail and and people see and, and they, you know, they'll see my weakness or whatever. <laughs> and so it's funny thinking about it now, but that stuff is, it really stops you from moving forward. And I had to get to a place in my life where I said, I don't care anymore. I let it go. I let go of all the fear. I don't care, you know, if, if I fail at it, if if I succeed, I want to succeed and, and embracing it. And so just get into that place where you just release that you, you really let go and you let God and you really... Uh, surrender all that stuff and stop holding and stop holding on to it because we cling on to things we cling on to things thanks for sharing Michelle she said disappointment 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 comfortable where I'm at and sometimes is comfort can be very tricky because on one end, you're comfortable. So it's like, I'm good. I don't need to grow. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that. So you get comfortable. I've been there before too, where I stopped pursuing certain things in my life. I felt like, oh, I'm fine. You know, um, like for instance, when it came to um, my personal health and fitness, I was like, at some one point in my life, I would, you know, I was committed and exercising, going to the gym and doing all those things. But then I got comfortable because I felt like, well, I'm good. I'm, you know, I'm healthy. I don't have to work out that much. And so that little, you know, in my mind, so you miss one week, then that week turns into a month and that month turns into a year. And then you look back two years later and you're like, oh my God, I gained 20 pounds. How in the world did that happen? <laughs> and sometimes, you know, you got to be careful because sometimes when you're too comfortable, and, I, and I'm saying this out of love because I love you all, and I want you to be aware of that. When you're too comfortable, it can be, you can become complacent and it can hold you back. And so just pushing yourself out of that comfort zone and always being willing to strive for greatness because your spirit is an expansive, evolving energy. It, it never stops growing. Your spirit never stops growing, you know, and, and your spirit is hungry for more, for more of life. Your soul wants more, wants to learn more, wants to see more, wants to explore more, wants to be more.
And so a lot of times we limit ourselves with our minds because of our conditions and our situations, our environments, the people that we are with and our relationships. We limit ourselves and we get so complacent in limiting ourselves that you get to a place where you stop growing and inside your soul is like screaming for more and you're really not happy and life ha it becomes dull and and a lot of times people fall into depression and they don't understand like where is this coming from why am i unhappy why am i depressed why do i feel dull why am i not excited about life why am i bored why why am i bored you know because you, because you were never created to just just to you know not grow but to continue to grow, continue to elevate, continue to expand yourself to new ideas and new creativity and new achievements. You know, you you never stop growing. So 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 what is it that you really want to do? I just want to hear from you all. I really want to hear from you. I want to connect with you. And I may not be able to read every comment right now while I'm doing this live video, but I do want to, I will go back and read and just see where you are and, and really, um, how can I support you in that? You know, how can I support you in what it is you are looking to pursue and, and to do in your life? Um, because I know, you know, my calling is part of my calling is to inspire and to um, help people to transform their lives. And I do that in my, with my books and um, my programs, my messages and videos. Um, but it's really to help you transform your life. And I want to know how I can do that. So some of you, you may have goals. You may say, I want to start a business or you may say, I want to write a book. Um, and many of you who are joining my author's master university, um, that's a great, great way to start on that journey of publishing your book. And actually, let me go ahead. I could post that link just in case you all still want to um, sign up for that. But um, we're going to start that soon. So if you click that link, you can get more information about that. So what is it you want to? Oh, thank you, Angela. You just bought three of my books. Thank you so much. So, John Tay, hey, John Tay, you want your business to be successful and to grow in all areas of your life. Thank you for sharing that. Ashley, you want to publish a book? Perfect, perfect. Latasha, you want to go back to school? Yes, get back in school. You can definitely do it. Graduate from college, you got this, Nita. You got it. I, I know you got it. I know you, you are capable. Let me tell you something. Chantel, you want to lose 200 plus pounds? Girl, you got this. You got this. Nothing is impossible. Let me tell you something. I want you to realize that there are no limits to what you are capable of doing. God created us to be limitless. To really tap in to the greatness and the power and the strength that he has put inside of us. And there is nothing that you can't do if you really, it starts with, it starts with your mind. It starts with you believing. Jesus said it. He said, if you believe, he said, all things are possible to those who believe. And really the type of belief that is required is a consistent, persistent daily 
habitual type of belief to where that belief becomes your habit every day you are growing in that belief it's not just one day okay i think i could do it and then the next day no you letting doubt come in but it's a committed belief that transforms your life all together <laughs> like completely you know, and so you got to be committed to whatever it is you really want to do. You really got to be committed to it and in your mind and your thoughts and your beliefs. And you, you got to learn how to believe it, see it, visualize it and take action towards it every day because faith without works is dead. So the more you apply action to that thing, the more you're going to see whatever it is you desire to do come to life and manifest and you like man i remember when i thought that was impossible <laughs> you know i was just telling my um trainer because i've been working with the trainer and she's been you know I, I work out with her i exercise daily and you know i have uh, healthy meal plans that i eat and um, and I was telling her not too long ago, I was saying, I remember, you know, years ago, I remember thinking it was impossible for me to really lose the weight I wanted to lose because I felt like I was trying everything. I felt like I was, you know, I was reading this book. I was trying this plan, this meal, you know, whatever. And and it just seemed like nothing was working. I was going to the doctor and I had my iron levels was low. And I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? And it really required me to just make big changes. And I and I and first, you know, like I said, believing. Believing and, and stepping out and doing something that I never done before and say you know what i'm gonna commit to this like i had never committed to working out every day and now it's it's a habit it's a habit that i love just like you know i wake up every morning shower wash my face brush my teeth that's a habit you know eat breakfast that's a habit working out is a habit it's a healthy habit to move and to you know get some cardio in and and if i miss a day i can feel it you know, but I love it now. It took me a while to get to that place, but now it's something that I look forward to. So it's, 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 it's amazing. I was just talking to my husband recently and I was saying, you know what? It's amazing how I can look back on my life and be like, wow, so much has changed. Even the way I think, the way I see things, the way I, you know, I'm more, you know, um, positive towards things, you know, even when situations don't look like they're working together for my good, I know how to find the good in it, you know? And so just learning to live life differently and, and not have any limitations and really go after what it is you desire in your life. So what else? What else, you guys? Let's see. What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? Some of you want to lose weight. You want to start your business. You want to write your book. You joining me for the Authors Master University. Yes, yes, yes. When am I coming to Florida? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I actually plan to be in Florida this summer sometime. So I'll I'll definitely if if I come and do something there, I will definitely let y'all know. But I love Florida. I love Florida. Overcome negative thinking and doubt. Thanks for sharing that, Ray. All things are possible. And when it comes to negative thinking and doubt, it really requires um, daily work. And one of the things that, that I do that help me is I start my day off with affirmations, positive affirmations. 
I start my day off meditating. And the reason why I do that is because I feel like I need to pour into my mind before I go out into the world. I need to set my mind on what it needs to be before I step out of my bedroom. So I'm waking up, I'm waking up and I'm like, thank you, God. Thank you. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I am prospering each day. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am uh, prosperous. I bless others and others bless me. I prosper others and others prosper me. Every day I'm getting better and better. Every day I'm growing stronger and stronger. Every day. Sorry, my phone, <laughs> somebody was calling. Every day I'm getting wiser and wiser. The best is yet to come. So you just you just got to continue to say that. You got to continue to speak that. Hey, Jean, you have a question? <laughs> I'm not ignoring you. But as you, um, let's see, what did you say? What was your question? I don't even see it. But as you speak those affirmations, you begin to set your mind. You set your mind and you set your day. And as you do that and you move forward, you, you that's how you guard your mind. Do I have many callings? I would say there are seasons in your life where you may be called to a specific pur purpose. Sometimes relationships are seasonal. Sometimes positions are seasonal. You may have a certain purpose or position in the season, and then you move out of that season, and then you have a new purpose and a new position in a new season. So do you have many callings? You could. Yep, yep, yep. So growing in other areas and being a better me, not feeling overwhelmed. Yes, thanks for sharing that, Sherry. Growing in other areas and being a better you. And you know, like I said before, and not feeling overwhelmed, part of that is like taking control of your mind. Like I said, when I start my day, I'm speaking those affirmations. I'm setting my mind, setting my vision on where I'm going. And I'm not allowing anything to overwhelm me. And that's part of what we, you know, talked about in the beginning of the video is a lot of times we're holding on to so, so much. We go to bed with our, our worries and our cares. We wake up with our worries and our cares when really the only thing that's really holding us back is what we're clinging to. And as we learn how to surrender and let go, the Bible talks about casting your cares on the Lord for he cares for you. As you learn how to surrender that, let go of that and just allow God to lead and guide you. You don't have to worry about being overwhelmed because you're not, you're not clinging on to anything. I remember when I used to think, I used to stress over just unnecessary things. Now in my life, I have more responsibilities. I have more things that I'm doing, you know, throughout the day that I'm managing more than ever. And I know y'all, y'all say, I want the daily wear back. I want the daily wear. <laughs> I understand all of that. But right now in this season in my life, so much has changed. And, and I'm managing so much, you know, but it's such a blessing and it's such a flow and it's so much peace. I have way more peace than I've ever had, you know, and, and I'm, you know, my business, I'm, I'm you know, is, is, is bigger and more prosperous than ever before. And I remember being so fearful of that and so fearful, will I be able to keep up and will I be able to handle this? And what about that? And, and now I'm at a place where it's like everything is getting done and it's in order and it's flowing and it's peace and, and it's just, um, it's a blessing. 
And that's how life should be. It shouldn't be overwhelming. You can have a big business and, you know, have be, be married, you know, like me and, and um, have children and, you know, manage different things that you have going on in your life and not be overwhelmed because you, you are constantly in a place of surrender. You're not clinging on to anything. You're not stressed about anything. You're not uh, worried about anything. But you're constantly releasing things. You're just releasing. Every day you're releasing. You're not, you're not just, you know. Because when you hold on, even when it comes to relationships. And me and my husband, we, we're going to... We're going to come on live together and um, soon, soon. I, I don't know what day yet because we're working on a really big project and I'm so excited about this, but we're going to really share more about relationship topics and like marriage, you know, we'll be celebrating 16 years of marriage in September. And so that's a blessing. And we have overcome so much and i've really gotten to a place because i i used to i'm telling y'all well i'm i'm gonna get i'm gonna be so transparent with y'all when it comes to what we're gonna talk about and he's gonna be transparent too because no relationship is perfect and and everyone has their struggles and challenges because we're growing and your spouse is actually helping you to become better, you know? And so there were times, I'm gonna just tell y'all a little bit, just a little bit, I'll give y'all just a little bit. But <laughs> there were times when I was really clingy. Yes, me, I was clingy. But I mean, some of you who've read my books, you kinda, you kinda know, like if you read my book, When God Sent My Husband, you know how, how I was like in the beginning, like when I was single, and I was just like desperate for love and desperate to be in a relationship and just really in this place of emptiness, you know. And I talk about how, you know, I grew up in a single parent home. My mom raised me. My dad was in and out of prison. He really wasn't in my life. And so I was just really wanting a relationship and really wanting that male attention and all of that. And so, um, I was clingy, I was clingy and, and there were times when I knew how to manipulate, to get, get him to do what I wanted him to do. And like, well, are you going to like, for instance, my first year when we, when we were first dating, I went away to college in Chicago and he was still in New York. I'm not New York. Why am I thinking of New York? <laughs> I love you, New York. <laughs> I'm going to New York too, guys. I'm ex oh, so much. Okay, so anyway, why did I say New York? He was in St. Louis. I went to uh, college in Chicago. And the first year we had a long distance relationship. And I hated that. Because when you're a clingy type of person and you are needy, you want people, you, you want your relationship, you want that person around. And so, and so I told him in a way of, I see now it was manipulation back then. I didn't understand, but I told him, I was like, our relationship, I'm not going to continue this relationship if you don't come to Chicago next year. If you don't move to Chicago and go to school in Chicago, this ain't going to work. So I basically gave him an ultimatum, you know, and because um, I was just that kind of person, which I really didn't want the relationship to end, but that was my way of trying to control things. So, and, and I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that there, but that mindset and that way of doing things had an impact on our relationship, on our marriage. And, and it really, it, I had to let go. I had to surrender that force of trying to control things and have things go my way. So we're going to share more later, but 
I just wanted to, I just felt led to share that with y'all. Yes, I would love to see y'all in New York. I will definitely let y'all know when I'm coming. I'm planning, actually, I need, I need to set up a, something in New York. I need, because I'm going to New York for just like, let's have fun, you know, vacation wise, but I think I should set up some type of meet and greet or something because I would love to see y'all in New York. I know I have a lot of um, readers and fans in New York and I love New York City. So you're needy, you're learning not to be clingy. And yes, yes, I'm telling y'all, it, it is so freeing. It is so freeing and, and it has been I feel like now in my marriage, it really is like heaven on earth. <laughs> now that I have surrendered all of that and won the cling and control and what are you, you going to come? Are you coming with me? Are you going to be, you know? <sighs> and so, yes, he going to tell y'all. I'm sure he going to let y'all know. He gonna, He's going to let y'all know. He's not as used to being in front on camera like me and doing live videos and stuff like that. But he's going to, he's going, he's, he's excited about this new project we're doing. We got a new book coming out. We both writing and finishing up together and we got some videos and all of that because we really want to help other couples so yes yes and i'm yes los angeles <laughs> yes michelle i'm definitely gonna come to la to see you too <laughs> oh thank you drea Girl T, you missed it. You gonna have to watch. You gonna have to watch the whole video. I'm. I've just been spilling the beans. I've been spilling the beans. So um, yes, yes, yes. So listen, back to what we were saying. What's holding you back? I want us to commit to go after everything that we desire to live life fully. And that's the journey we're on. Like the things that I have coming up. Many of you who've read my books and you've you've followed like my stories and the things that I've been sharing, and um, just um, and and I put I put it all out there in my books. A lot of my books. <laughs> I'm just being real transparent today, y'all. Just writing some of my books, like You Are Enough, Miracles in Your Mouth, it was so life-changing to me. It triggered some old wounds that I had to heal from. It was just life-changing. Hi, honey. He's watching everybody. My husband is on live watching us. If y'all see Patrick Howard, he is, well, he haven't made a comment, but I see he's watching because he's my friend. Why don't you comment? Okay, here he comes. He said, here he comes. Okay, well, I was just talking about you, but um, yeah, I was just talking about you telling everybody about what we're working on. So, yes. And I know you're going to share more, too. God is opening so many doors. It's a little scary. Michelle, oh, we got to talk. Yes, Kena, I would love to meet you, too. And Joanne in Pennsylvania, yes. Love you guys. So what are you what are you gonna commit to letting go of? Because we're talking about surrendering. And I I I just let y'all know that I I had an issue with clinging and holding on and, and stressing over things. I mean, I used to be so emotional. And it's nothing wrong with being emotional and having emotions, but when your emotions have you, then it's a problem. I mean, to the point to where, you know, you're constantly monitoring how you feel and allowing your feelings to control your day. I had to learn that, no, can't do that no more. Mm. 
you have 20 journals yes you can you can turn those into books yes you can and and i i definitely help you with that in the authors the new new authors master class university i'm doing a whole new training i did that training uh, a little over a year ago but so much has changed i'm doing a whole new training on publishing your book so and i'm posting the link right now if you want to go ahead and register for that You are committed to letting go of controlling everything, letting go, letting go of allowing your emotions to control you. See, that's why I speak my affirmations in the morning. That's why I um, meditate and, and, I, and I make sure I, I declare and I, and I pray and I visualize how I want things to, to go in my life and how I protect my heart and protect my mind. I don't allow my feelings to direct me. I used to just go with my feelings. Oh, I'm feeling this way. Oh, I'm not feeling right. Mm, some about, I'm not feeling, you know, just all the time. And so I had to learn how to get, get in control of, get control over those things over feeling and not yeah because i used to have a lot of anxiety a lot of fear all of that and so now i know how to um have a better control over my feelings and not be so emotional and allowing myself to just always just go with my emotions no mm -mm, not anymore I'm so above that now. I'm thank God that I'm delivered from all of that. <laughs> and those of you who suffer with anxiety, I really want to um, encourage you. I don't know if you've read Miracles in Your Mouth. Um, that book, I was actually... Um, before writing that book, I went through a, a really, really tough season, really tough season of anxiety, of depression, panic attacks, all of that. I mean, it was just overwhelming to the point to where I was going to see doctors, psychiatrists, you know, they were prescribing me medicine, tell me I was going to be on medicine for months and months. And I was just like, no, this is not the life I am going to live, <laughs> you know. And so there was a process that I went that I and that I it, it was a it was a number of things that I did that really helped me to come out of that. And so now I no longer deal with the anxiety and the depression and all of that stuff totally healed just feel i feel amazing hey honey hey. my husband just got here guys <laughs> i'm praying for you yes yes definitely praying for you and i'm gonna pray before i end this video you want to come and say hi to everyone i told them that that um we're gonna be we're gonna be speaking Hey, everybody. There he goes. Hey, everyone. Yes. So, we are going... I was telling them a little bit about surrender. Hey, son. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, thank you. You have my book. You are enough. Wonderful, wonderful. So, I was telling them. They said, hey. Hello. Hello. So I was telling them um, just a little bit today we're talking about um, what's holding you back and we was talking about surrendering and not clinging on to things. Mm -hmm. And I just shared a brief testimony because I told them, I said, we're going to do a whole different video, both of us sharing our about our relationship and all of that. Mm -hmm. But I was telling them how um, I used to be real clingy. And, mm -hmm. and I was just being open. I was just yeah. being open. I told them a little bit about, um, you know, when I went away to college and we had the one year long distance relationship thing. And uh -huh. I was like, if you don't come here, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, just telling them how, you know, how I would hold on, you know, and using that to manipulate and to control. 
and how recent, you know, you know, in the past year, how our marriage, how it really has been a blessing to really um, release and right. not control. So do you want to say, transition. do you want to say something? Um, well, hello everybody. I'm not normally on uh, live or anything like that. Yeah, so I told is... them you don't do live, you don't do videos. <laughs> right, and... so it is all kind of new for me, but um, yeah, so what she's saying is, is right. I didn't catch the beginning part of the video, but yeah, over the last year, our relationship has really um, grown, really grown. Uh, and evolved, especially beyond the standpoint of uh, some of the things that we used to deal with, some of the things that we kind of came into the relationship with mm -hmm. that weren't all, so, all the way get, resolved. And we getting ready to celebrate how many years in, yeah, in September? 16, 16 years. years. It'll be 16 years in September. So, uh, you know, but it's been a process, uh, definitely a process to uh, kind of grow and, and evolve and evolve from uh, those doors that were open, that were never shut, that were just kind of cracked, that we keep going to, you know, mm -hmm. that we kept going to. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm I'm actually, I'm excited about the new project. I'm excited about what we're doing. Thanks, um, Brittany. Everything that we're communicating to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 really exciting because we, like I told them earlier, I said we are going to be transparent, and he's gonna talk about you know how he yeah some of the things that i dealt with in the relationship some of the the hurdles some of the challenges some of the changes some of the just some of the things just from my perspective and my experience uh and just as a man dealing with um the relationship coming together and and growing you know we got the married struggles. we got married at 20 i was 20 you know and um just being able to grow you know, together, together in life, you know. Thank you. Thank you all. Love you guys. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so I I can say that. I can say, you know, you you think like, oh, you've been together all these years. Oh, you, you don't have any problems. Oh, you you all doing this, you doing that. And, and we have really had to work through some things. Yeah. And and that's and and really that's our heart to help other couples, and we really felt led that it was a calling right. to do that. And then from the standpoint that you know, oftentimes some of the challenges that you see magnified are like infidelity and all of those things. But there's so many other things that can come into a relationship that don't have to do with that directly. You know, uh, because we we never one of the things I do say, because I know some couple some couples experience, you know, infidelity and things like that, that can be very hurtful in a relationship. We we've never experienced that. However, there are things that you can go through in a marriage and not deal with infidelity and still right. may not want to work things out right and may right. not want to make the marriage work yeah the stress and the challenge of other emotional uh situations can cause you to want to you know quit walk away yeah yeah so i'm excited i'm excited about the book that we have coming out yeah. together um, many of y'all, I love y'all so much. Many of y'all read a lot of my other books. Um, and you, you've read the one, he, he wrote one chapter in, uh, when God, when God sent, sent my, my husband. husband, he wrote the last chapter, which yeah, was the last chapter when God, when God sent, sent my wife. Yeah. So he, so, the, so he's really excited cause he's gonna, he's writing a lot in this new coming book. And he is really good. He is really, he's oh, a good, yeah. well, he's a you. good. I appreciate that. <laughs> he's, because, because I had to get on him the first book. <laughs> it's like, look, you going to have to come with it when you write these books because my readers don't play. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. So, it's going to be very transparent, very open. But I love you guys. I just wanted to come on and encourage you. Um, I, we will be coming on again and talking about 
one of the t one of the big topics in our new project is to not take things personally. Right. That is gonna. That's a game changer right there. When you really wasn't that for you? Yeah. Yeah. Because you really struggled with. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had. It, I took a lot of stuff that was said to heart. <laughs> you know, when even even some of the things that are uh, not even direct, you know, sometimes you can, uh, what you're saying is, and then turn that into a personal uh, feel. And you know, sometimes, so. sometimes ladies, we think because they don't talk and they not saying much, we think like, oh, they can handle or they not bothered or nothing's wrong. Yeah. You know, when it comes to men and how they can be kind of, um, we can Quiet internalize and just things. Kind of internalize, and yeah. you think things are okay, and you like, what, what? I didn't say nothing. And then you know, yeah. then they wait until things just boil up yeah. and they get worse and worse, and then this is like, right, what? what and and, and, and in, the, in that case, you know, moment there can be moments where things, because things aren't said the first time, it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna let it slide, even though I don't really let it slide, you know, or. You know, well, I'm not gonna get on that one yet. I'm not stirred up enough. That that, and then when you get to the standpoint of okay, now you done said this, you done said that, now all right now, <laughs> and then it could just you know you can really get get out of control or you know take things to heart just too much, uh, too deep. You know, for, and we as women we wear our emotions out like we show it. They don't always show it, but I believe men can be way more emotional and, than women. And I see uh, somebody honest. said, I be in my feelings and cut people off. It's easy to me. I, I felt like that too, you know, mm -hmm. but that, that's the challenge in being in a relationship. When you're in a relationship with some of your closest family members, from mothers to spouses, you know, it's not just that simple. And I had came to that realization too. Like, I can't just cut this person off. This is a relationship I really care about. I want to cultivate it. I could I could just not talk to you for a minute, but that's not going to help. That's not going to help our relationship. It makes it worse. It makes it worse because And I started there. I started in that place where I'm like, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm I'm I need a break. I'm just going to walk past, uh, you know, I I ain't got nothing to say. I need some time, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I've definitely uh, evolved, mm -hmm. evolved from that. Yeah. So, so definitely stay tuned. Thank you guys for coming on. I love you, Love Nation. We just want to pray over you before we end this video. You want? You want? You can go I'll, ahead and pray. <laughs> I'll pray. <laughs> <laughs> he not used to the camera and stuff. So. um so and then if you f feel free to type in your prayers i'm gonna read read over them after i finish this video um father god i just lift up each and every person watching father i pray for uh the hearts the minds of your people their relationships their family and their friends god i pray that you continue to lead and guide them order their steps direct their path cover them in your peace and your love and god thank you for using us thank you for using our story for using our experiences and our marriage and our relationship our family to be a blessing to others and god we just give you all the praise glory and honor in jesus name amen 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 all right yay hey leon yay hey kina good to see all of you love you dearly share the video encourage someone today i pray that this blessed you and i'll see you guys see you soon see ya